<laughs> well, you have to keep in mind that in 1929, uh, the United States government wasn't in there manipulating every market. There was no plunge protection team, no, no exchange uh, stabilization plan. Uh, there, there wasn't the Federal Reserve uh, manipulating the price of gold, uh, uh, driving up the price of bonds, ma manipulating the stock market. Uh, today, all the markets are manipulated, so it would be a mistake to sure. compare manipulated markets to the extent they're manipulated now. Well, then how long can the false reality continue? It, I think the Fed can manipulate things until the dollar goes. I, the only vulnerability that I can see in this is if there's a run on the dollar and they, because the Fed has really no way to uh, guarantee to support the dollar price. They can't print foreign currencies to buy dollars, and apparently they've, they don't any longer have any gold. <laughs> so I think- That's right, the Germans asked for their gold a year ago and have gotten basically none of it. Uh, right. I think that the vulnerability is the dollar. The dollar is, is what was threatened by QE, and I think the reason they're backing off on QE is trying to take some of the pressure off the dollar. Because if the dollar goes, it's a bigger crisis than the bank's failing. And so their house of cards, I think, they can keep it going until there's a foreign run on the dollar. And it may not happen. It's just you don't know how long they can keep this going. So that's really it. The, the, the liberty, the scientists we had created the greatest technologies. They've been turned towards fraud. The world's at a technological disadvantage. And we're being inserted into a false system. And, yeah. and, and I guess that's why we see the hubris coming out of Washington. <laughs> right. That's right. Look, the, the trading desk, as I understand it, the trading desk of the New York Federal Reserve Bank, it is now huge and it, they can do everything stocks bonds commodities gold uh, foreign currencies <laughs> and and they have the mechanisms in place to intervene in all of those markets and in recent columns uh, that i did together with dave kranzler an experienced gold trader uh, we show we can we point out we can isolate to the minute the manipulation incredible i want to talk about that manipulation straight ahead with dr roberts attention gun owners it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack but is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense infidel body armor goes on in seconds is civilian legal in all 50 states is 100 percent made in the usa is veteran owned and ships next business day for free go to infidelbodyarmor.com i-n-f-i-d-e-l bodyarmor.com infidel body armor just won't quit. You've been hearing about the amazing benefits of heart and body extract for many years. Now, hear from the co-founder. My name is Tony Knudsen, and I am the co-founder of Heart and Body Extract. We've been in business for over 13 years now. With thousands of satisfied customers who have experienced the amazing benefits but never experienced a price hike. We've kept consistent pricing the whole entire time the company's been in business and will continue to do so. Call today for Heart and Body Extract, 866-295-5305, or visit hbextract.com. Come. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. 
For thousands of years, silver has been used as both a medicine and a preservative, but not all silver is equal. Supernatural Silver is an amazing new technology that has been clinically shown to be several hundred times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. Supernatural Silver resonates at the same frequency as germicidal light used in labs to kill bacteria and viruses. Supernatural Silver is a broad-spectrum microbial that creates no resistance and does not harm beneficial bacteria, making it ideal for daily use. It can be used internally as well as topically and is highly effective against bacterias, viruses, molds, and yeast. Supernatural Silver liquid and gel are perfect for on-the-go or emergency preparedness and can provide protection at home, school, or work. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and remember the promo code SILVER2014 for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. SupernaturalSilver.com. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. All right, final segment with Dr. Paul Craig Roberts. we got six minutes. I'm going to try to let him cover the rest of the economy, where he sees it going. And then we're coming up in the next hour, Naked Ambition. TSA wants new generation of body scanners. Rough seas ahead. The new Noah movie is a eugenics anti-population, uh, basically alien flick. Some of that's coming up. Uh, Dr. Roberts, uh, finishing up with um, you know the fact with, uh, that this whole thing's rigged. I mean, that just keeps coming out. Even the Rolling Stone did an investigation, as you know, years ago, saying it's all rigged. That was the headline. Uh, what else is on your radar? Where do we go from here? What do we do? <laughs> well, I don't know what, what we can do, Alex, other than what you and I try to do is give people information that's more or less on the mark. Uh, there's no recovery. They continue to pretend that. If you read uh, Janet Yeltsin's testimony, you know, she's the new Fed chairman. Uh, before Congress, <clears throat> it was all about how we have this recovery, <laughs> which doesn't exist. So when you live in a world of complete, total disinformation, uh, what, do, <laughs> what do you do? What, do you do? Uh, what I suspect is going to happen but I don't know, is the, the economy will continue to weaken this year. It'll get weaker uh, so that the deficit becomes a bigger issue again. The debt ceiling has to be raised higher. Um, it puts uh, more pressure. Uh, the Fed will have to uh, uh, restart quantitative easing or, or boost it uh, or else they'll have to let uh, the economy go to save the dollar. Uh, it's hard to know where the Fed will come out on this because it's really caught between two big crises. And one is you cannot forever print your currency in such enormous amounts and not see the exchange value of your currency uh, collapse in, in the exchange markets. So that is the limit on their ability to have quantitative easing. On the other hand, if they don't do quantitative easing and the economy is weakening and they're faced with collapse of employment, uh, collapse of the bond market, collapse of the stock market, and that's an immediate crisis. So that's what's the right. slow weaning going to do then? It's, it's, it's a, the slow weaning right now, I think, is show. It's show to take pressure off the dollar. It may be they're running out of the ability to manipulate the gold price. Um, and so they want to take pressure off of, of, uh, of quantitative easing on the dollar. You know, one of the reasons for the rapid rise in gold is that people said, well, they're just going to inflate the currency away. Well, quantitative easing sort of proved that that's what they were going to do. So if they back off from it, it sort of quiets down the fears about the dollar being overproduced. I just don't think they have a good long-term plan for their economic uh, situation. Well, that's evident by the police state Europe, absolutely. <laughs> right. And uh, we also don't know whether they may, they may be caught off guard by what happens um, in the Ukraine. You know, now uh, Kerry, the Secretary of State, is threatening France with sanctions. Crazy. Because, because French companies are uh, going over to see about 
doing business with the, with the Iranians because it looks like the sanctions are going to be removed. And so Kerry is threatening France. Well, when you start threatening your own NATO allies, you don't know what the result is. We know that the, that the German government is very upset with Washington. It can't get its goal, they're spied on. Uh, they, they, they don't want to be a, a drug into a war with Russia. Uh, they're very uneasy about all this uh, Ukraine business. How does it benefit them to have uh, the, the Russians? It's uh, simply deteriorating, and we'll get you back up in a month if you can do it to give us an update. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir, for the time. All right, we'll be right back with the next hour. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Paul Craig Roberts.org is his site, folks, Infowars.com.